Good morning. So it's Sunday, the 4th of April, 2021, and I sold three items yesterday. Uh, so I'd just like to quickly show you those to start off with. Um, I listed this yesterday for £7. Um, it's a PlayStation 2 game, Street Golfer. Uh, played it a couple of times. I'm not very good at it, to be honest, but it, it's all there. It's got the manual. It's got the disc. Um, there are some marks on the disc, which obviously I've, I've declared uh, to the buyer. Um, you probably can't see that very well. Um, uh, but you might notice that it's a blue disc. And the reason that it's a blue disc is because it's a CD-ROM. Uh, so the CD-ROMs are blue and uh, DVD PlayStation 2 games are silver. Uh, so that, um, I listed it yesterday for £7. It went within a number of hours, so I don't know, did I charge too little? Probably not, to be honest. I think £7 was fair, so I was, I was quite happy with that. Um, next up um, is this Star Trek action figure, which I've had listed for quite some time. Uh, adjusted the price slightly. Um, it's still in its box. The plastic is slightly discoloured. Um, partly age, I think, partly uh, due to sunlight. Uh, but other than that, it's it's in pretty good condition, really. There's no no tears to the box or anything. Um, I did have um, well, actually, I, I hadn't had any previous interest in this. What I had was somebody was interested in uh, a Will Riker figure that specifically said that she did not want the one with the torn shirt. Um, so the torn shirt thing, I guess it's kind of um, kind of a homage to Captain Kirk, really. Although I don't think Jonathan Frakes as Will Riker ever tore his shirt as many times as Bill Shatner did. Uh, but there you are. This one I took an offer on. I, I'd eventually had it up for £15, including postage and packing, um, and I accepted, um, accepted an offer £12.50. Not a lot in it, really, so that was worth it to see it go. Um, and the next item is something that, again, I, I took a best offer on. Is this um, two-piece sugar bowl with lid, um, vintage stoneware really, it is Welsh. Um, it's got uh, sugar written on it in Welsh. Um, now I am Welsh myself, but I'm, I'm not a Welsh speaker and I've lived in Yorkshire since 1982. And I can't honestly remember exactly how that's uh, pronounced, but my guess would be sugar. Um, I had it up for £13, including shipping. Uh, I eventually accepted an offer of uh, £12, because that's not a lot of difference, really. Um, so I'm quite happy to see it go. I had picked it up for £1. So with a £12 sale, even with costs, um, eBay fees and shipping costs and packing, I, I still get a few quid out of that, so that's OK. Um, it is pottery, so by definition it's breakable. Um, I have had, unfortunately, at least one item broken in the post, um, despite how well I wrapped it. So I'm going to be particularly careful with this one and make sure that I, I wrap it safely so that it gets where it's going without any harm. So that's three sales for yesterday, um, and hopefully we'll get some more today. Right, so it's uh, Tuesday the 6th of April now. Easter weekend is over and sadly no more sales. Um, things have gone quiet. Either people don't want to buy what I'm selling or I'm charging too much. Um, who knows? Um, I'm going to finish this video by um, showing a little film of my wrapping the sugar bowl for dispatch. Um, I just to make a record really that I've tried to wrap it as, as well as I can. Um, you can sometimes go a bit overboard with these things, I think, but I want to make sure that it gets there uh, properly. So have a look at this, see what you think. Uh, if you like this video, please um, give it a like, maybe subscribe to my channel, um, and hopefully I'll see you again. Right, so we're going to wrap this bowl. Um, first of all, I'm going to put some cardboard inside. Um, 
Now, the idea behind this is just to give it a bit more extra padding, although I'm not sure really whether it needs it. It's, it's quite a thick walled uh, bowl, so it, it probably doesn't need this, but hey, it doesn't do any harm just to give a little bit of extra protection there. Um, so just a couple more, we'll twist that in. Just a couple more layers. And this is the last one, I think. Yeah. So I'll put the bowl to the one side now. And then get some bubble wrap to wrap the lid. So I'm just going to fold this over. There's several layers of bubble wrap there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it inside the bowl upside down. Um, and now some more bubble wrap. Um, really need to get as much bubble wrap um, as you can fit into the box, really, uh, just to give it as much protection as possible. Um, to be honest, it is a fairly sturdy thing, so it should be okay in, in the post, even though technically it's a breakable. Um, now I'm going to use this box given to me by my next door neighbour. Gave me several of these, perfect for mugs and bowls of this size. Um, I have uh, put an extra layer of uh, cardboard at the bottom, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the sides again with um, some extra bits of cardboard to make it into a double walled rather than a single walled box, just to give it that extra bit of rigidity. That's two, this is the third one going in. And number four, and get that uh, get that bowl put in there. Now I'm not um, I'm not entirely happy with this at the moment. So what I'm going to do is um, just test it for size. Then I'm going to take it out again and uh, rewrap it. And so that's enough of my commentary. Let's just look at the the rest of it without me prattling on.
having finished uh, sealing up the box, I've then gone on to wrap it in brown paper, a good quality strong brown paper, uh, just to make it look cosmetically a little bit better um, and to make it a, a, a stronger uh, parcel, really. Uh, so here it is, I've obscured the buyer's address, my return address. As you can see, I have put eBay tape across the bottom just to, to put the final seal on it there and uh, two pieces of fragile uh, tape, one on one side, one on the other, uh, and clear, a good quality, strong, clear tape as well over the rest of the edges just to keep them properly taped down. Uh, so hopefully that will go fine through the post. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back for more. Bye.